Hi all, um, good afternoon everyone. I'm here to introduce this webinar on the topic of food equality and how enterprises and individuals involved in the Open Food Network um, can um, help ensure a greater degree of food equality in, my, in their local communities. I will start by first by introducing myself, Joe McLaren. I have experience as a food poverty uh, researcher. Um, I was involved in Good Food Oxford as the End Hunger Campaign um, research intern. I've also presented at academic conferences on the topic of alleviating um, food poverty um, through urban agriculture. And I have a master's in agroecology and um, food security um, from um, Coventry uh, University. Um, I volunteer for Oxford Mutual Aid, which is one of the many mutual aid groups set up to deal with the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and which receives vegetables from Cultivate Oxford, who later will be speaking. First of all, I feel that it needs to be stated that um, food inequalities or as I like to discuss being in the state of food poverty is not uh, the fault of the individual, but rather a systemic failure on the part of the uh, food system and the economic system as a whole. At a simple level, food poverty is associated with having not enough money to buy food and having to use food banks. As there's a degree of shame associated with using a food bank, five times more people who are eligible for food banks are uh, present than actually use them. Um, of course, food poverty is a broader, a sign of a broad situ broader situation of being in uh, uh, poverty and is a spectrum. However, it's also a sign that the food poverty is uh, not able to ensure, ensure everyone who can have a healthy diet. Um, the concept of food from nowhere, coined by activist Jose Bove, accurately describes the cheapest food that is on offer, that rather than being nutrient dense, is calorie dense and has multiple ingredients that could be produced anywhere in the world. The opposite is, of course, the concept of food from somewhere, which is nutrient dense, however, is not particularly filling, necessarily filling or particularly cheap and tends to be more expensive. And it's not an option for those with uh, very little money. It's not an accident that the cheapest food is highly calorie dense. Since World War II, when Britain nearly starved, uh, what's described as a uh, productive this model of agriculture which uh, puts agricultural productivity above all else was um, created. The fact that the economic model throughout the global north is one of neoliberalism which to a greater or lesser extent puts pro favours profit above all else um, were, um, has a strong influence on the food system. This is, of course, what the producers here are speaking about. We'll be doing something really important by providing nutrient-dense food at reduced or free prices. Uh, this could be considered a radical and uh, progressive act. This is something we want to um, support and encourage here at the Open Food Network. And our goal is to help create innovations to that make this easier and as fair as possible for everyone involved. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, things were not ideal. In the city of Oxford alone, 2,624 food bank referrals were made in 2019. And indicators of uh, lower level food poverty were high with 11% um, of uh, people being de defined as income from deprived, indicating at least mild food poverty, including 12.45% of children. It's necessary to point out here that there are no official markers of um, food poverty. 
Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the Trussell Trust has forecast a 61% increase in food bank usage between October and December, and an 89% increase was reported in the first few months of the pandemic. However, amidst the misery and deprivation, ideas that were never considered before are starting to get gain significant credence. Suddenly, rather than just being a concept that was a preserve of academics and people on the left, the concept of mutual aid has become present in um, public discourse, as has interest in other uh, things such as pay it forward uh, schemes. Examples include the many mutual aid groups, which run on a different model and run on the premise that anyone who can who requests food will receive it. And of course, some of the pay it forward schemes we will hear about. Similarly, um, interest in online buying and organic food has increased uh, significantly starting the pandemic, partly uh, due to a desire to avoid um, catching COVID 19 and partly due to the uh, restrictions placed upon individuals. Um, it may be that in the near future, to paraphrase Antonio Gramsci, that dual power could be um, created by this increased interest in organic food, which changes the food system from below towards a more positive and ecological 